Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Looking back to look how to do things. So we're just hanging with my new buddy here, Trench Troller. And we're going to go through my personal review of the Battle Pass. So real quick, we're going to go to the very beginning here. If it'll get off of that. That was an interesting glitch. But yeah, Ocean's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's got a lot of Mad Max vibes to it. Uh, Waterworld vibes. That's my favorite edit style of her, honestly, the blue helmet. I know everyone says it looks like the uh, same kind of graphic on the uh, 90s cups, <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, with the teal and the purple. And that's the funny thing, like, that's that's my color combos on my logo, if you guys saw it just before the video and you've watched me for a while. Like, even on Fade's glove here, it's got the teal and purple. Like, this, this battle pass was just made... <laughs> for me to like it, I guess. Got flipping away, which is kind of everyone saying ground pound, you know, esque. Again, amazing, amazing contrails. I'm not even joking. Like, just some of the animations on this stuff. Got them V Bucks, got the Brella. We'll go through all the Brella stuff here in a bit. I love this back bling just because it's, you know, it, it's like you explored and you grabbed all the sea junk. It's like in a little explorer pack, and it just goes with so much. I have not used this wrap yet, but it's kind of a remix or a redo of the summer one we got that was blue, yellow, and pink. But it's this one's animated, of course, so I think it's pretty cool. We're listening to this right now. And, of course, we've got this loading screen here, which... Okay, if someone can tell me... If at all you have any information, you see this guy here in the yellow container to the left, you see the little red eyes piercing through the window, if we can actually find this location or something similar to it, it may just be for, you know, the artistic look of things. But I really want to know where that location is. We need to explore that. Moving on. The fact that you can dual wield and single wield some of these is amazing. I'm digging a lot of the dual dual wheel ones when they're morphed back into the single wheeled, personally, when they're the one hand versus the two hand. But I'm I'm really liking the whole like just shard of cut metal banner. Whoop, I'm going too fast here. Going through some V Bucks there. We got Motocon. This top sail glider, this this little hang glider. It, it, it's got a lot of, like, Da Vinci kind of look to it. Like, one of the very first flying device kind of look. And I think that's what they're going for. More on that in a bit. This one's pretty cool, too. It's just, you know, Jonesy in action. <laughs> Agent Jones, I guess, as we now know. Uh, Krabby King. I mean, it's a nice little motif. Go now, this rap. I saw this rap and instantly fell in love with it. I think I used it on every single character that I have in my presets. I can go through presets real quick too if you all want. Just so you get, you know, a good chunk of a video and I haven't been recording a bit, so Scuba Jonesy. I love the purple, the original style. I'm not big on the Digicamo. That one's okay. It's decent, but I'm not big on the mask. I think it looks bulkier. That to me looks best, but it's mainly because of the purple. This emote. there's nothing more to say I'm sorry but this is I, I agree with the opinions of iTalk and Pizzo and a lot of the other bigger YouTubers and content creators we know this emote though it has no guitar in it is far better sounding I think than the guitar walk or the original guitar personally just my opinion guys again this is this this is all just my opinion on stuff. Got the shark marine there. Got the little diver. All the edit styles go with Scoop Jones. Which is nice. I mean, I don't... You know, I don't have, like, any scuba tanks yet. I don't have any, like, space and astronaut stuff for the most part. You know, there hasn't been one I've really liked. So, this waterfall, this to me, is a lot better than the slurp looking one that we got personally slurp just seems so bulky the slurp contrail that is got another banner got some more v bucks the water wings is cool i haven't actually used it i 
earned it not too long back, like a day or two ago. Now, I like the digital camo on this, I just don't like it on the actual suit. And I really like that one, too. Like, it looks like a stealth bomber, not even kidding. It looks straight up like a stealth bomber. Got you a spray there. Okay, this right here. I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to talk about it for a minute. Tell me that doesn't look like a different version of the ninja skin to the left that, that is currently holding what looks to be like a completely upgraded AK. And we wonder if we're going to get the Crash Dummy as a skin sometime soon as well, which is kind of like Hitman in a way, honestly. But yeah, the green-haired one looks just like another edit style for Ninja, so correct me if I'm wrong. These pickaxes. This pickaxe. I love it. It's cool. It's purple. It it does like a little rift blur when you hit things. Like, I, I, can't, I can't even. I can't even. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, we got some more V-Bucks, another banner there. This is my no no square. Like, that joke wasn't going to come up with this. Awesome spray. Awesome. Meowabunga. What's not to like? We're going to, again, go through the umbrella here in a little bit. Convergence. I dig it. I, I think it might be different when I use it. Oh, I didn't know the butterflies came off of it. I didn't know they consistently did that. That's pretty cool. Eternal Bloom, another Emojicon that almost no one ever uses. Dive Knives, they're pretty simple. They look like two big butcher knives, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. And I really wish this came in a single. I, I, I kind of wish it would be like a spear. That would have been really cool. Just nice, simple, and clean. Which, again, if you've got a lot of skins that you just like to go in with a simple, clean look, that's exactly what these are for. If you're into jewels... Need I say more? I love the purple and blue colored ink. And they kept it the same on every single version of her. I have no problems with this. I don't have any issues with the skin overall. I like the original. You get to see what she looks like. You know, she's a mechanic, a welder, you know, a tinkerer. The fact that they gave her the welding helmet. A lot of people say this should have had her with, instead of like the actual mask, have the welding helmet as like the skull painted on it like brutus personally i feel like she you know a lot of people said that maybe she was like midas's brother or brother gosh midas's sister girlfriend wife whatever but now a lot of people are saying that maybe she's actually brutus's daughter and she just kind of came into the family business but that's just my theory it's just as Matt Pat would put it, trademarked by him, a game theory. But it is what it is. Got Master Engineer. Getting ahead of myself. I keep doing that, and I'm sorry, folks. Ohm's Perch. I mean, if any Sly Cooper fans out there, any Greek mythology with Athena's bird, I cannot remember that owl's name currently. It was used to help try and either fight or summon the Kraken. I really have a feeling that's what they're going with. But again, that's just theory. That's just my opinion and theory. And I, I change them all the time. Star Drop. There is so much going on with this contrail. It's almost too fast. It makes it look like you're falling faster than you really are. You can't even really see most of the constellations. Unless they're just like geometric gibberish. Say that ten times fast. Uh, get fixed. We've got view reward here. I think it's pretty cool. It's all right. Actually, you know the hair there. Honestly, like she really reminds me of Amy Winehouse. You know, rest in peace. But that—that's the vibe I get from that picture right there. Industrious, I love this rep. It's simple. It's got the gears. It's kind of like the clockwork one we had before. But it's silver, purple, black, and blue. Like, I just... I, and it's in pastel. It's shiny at the same time. Like, I love this. I can't wait to use this. The wrenches. The fact that you can either have, like, a ratchet and clink style. And I know that's what a lot of people probably thought of with this. 
type dual wrenches or the big lug wrench. I, I, I love them. I love, this is one of the very first dual pickaxes I've really liked, and it came in a battle pass. Alright, so more V-Bucks. I heard this is really good, and I haven't listened to it all the way through yet. I just want to listen to it for a minute. I know all this is probably copyrighted, but still. That star's getting heavy. Oh, bro. Alright. Favorite. Favorite. I'm with Tim the Tatman on this. I had to listen to it for myself. I was going to keep playing. And I like this. The fact that you could have this pickaxe and this back bling, and it makes it look like he's literally gl gliding you in using it. That's a really cool feature. A really cool visual feature with that combo. I hope they try and do more stuff like that in the future. At least once, at least one time in a battle pass. I'm not huge on Omni stuff personally, and that's again no offense to anyone else. It's cool looking. Don't get me wrong. It's really cool and badass and tough. I like it. It's all right. I'm just not as big into it as others. So let me be clear. But I like it. It's simple. It's to the point. It's a little bit added from the last one, the last version, the base version. And I, I just, I love the purple hair and the purple zebra stripe. Like, I I, just, I love purple. Purple and teal is my favorite color. What's not to like about this? Is it a skin I'll use a lot? Probably not, even in its fullest form, realistically. But, nonetheless, now this one I have not really looked at. This, this loading screen I have not really looked at. So, it's literally... I don't know if that's necessarily supposed to be actual Meowskulls. I think that's still supposed to be Meowskulls' kid. But working on all the stuff with the robotics and putting everything together, I think it's pretty cool. The fact that you just have all this thrown in there. There's a lot to look at. There may be a small detail in there I'm missing. But, I don't know. You'll have to look at it a little closer for yourselves, peeps, folks, and dudes. Getting ahead of myself again. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I'm sorry. Another Emojicon. More V-Bucks. Tippy tap, tippy tap. I think it's pretty cool. And the fact that your your feet will leave that little color of like a dance floor behind you. It's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Just the way you, you tippy tap. But I think it's alright. More umbrella. Another banner. Mecha fish. Got yet another loading screen. Pretty artful. I like it. I dig it. V-Bucks. Okay, Kit. This is an awesome skin. I will take more skins like this over having more bananas and more fish sticks. No offense to anyone who loves those skins. It is your opinion if you do. And you're entitled to your opinion. I feel like I have to really, really get that out there for all you peeps, folks, and dudes. Because you're you're allowed to have your opinion on things like this. You you can like or dislike a you know a skin in a video game. It's fine. You know, but just the fact of this whole I mean there's a lot going on, don't get me wrong. Just the whole mecha of it. But that's what makes it interesting. Built in emote. That's just so cool. I don't think I can see the emote here. I don't have the emote. I'm not going to buy the whole battle pass either. But I really can't wait to use it. I think my favorite is either the pink or this version here. This, like, the, like, swamp. I, the original is cool with the blue and all that. And, and the pink just reminds me more of the rainbow and unicorn stuff that I still actually do like myself. But the whole red and green with the shadow imprints on it. Like, it's just got a swamp feel to it. And I've wanted, like, a, a humanoid shark and a humo humanoid gator skin for so long. And I, I hope that they eventually do that. Whether it's Battle Pass or even in this season's item shop, that would be amazing. 
pretty cool glider again with the red and the like military green i wa i did watch pizzo's video so I, I will say i got that off of him i'm not trying to plagiarize or anything like that it's just i do agree with his opinion this is a really cool back wing i think it is better than the butterfly wings that came with dream just because wings sometimes can get in the way depending and this just sits on your back only nice and simple again kind of that swamp feel i dig it it's cool if you want a simple clean cut look it's all right got some more v bucks got photon i'm not a fan of the super saiyan dragon ball z looking contrails that look like you're busting through the atmosphere it's a nice touch it makes sense and it's a it's a cool callback to things like that but it's it's just not me and it's even purple when i'm saying that and blue it's just not me got the keyed up here if you guys have ever seen that movie monsters vs. aliens there's a lot of people on like twitter and social media saying that the, this is exactly where this came from is that movie where the guy that plays the president <laughs> Stephen Carell's voice I believe is sitting there playing the piano trying to entertain him and stuff and it just doesn't work got a kitten banner got a skate let it roll with an Uzi in hand <laughs> so is wait a minute is that a hint at a at another skin who is that we don't have that skin yet do we or is that supposed to be somebody else skate bit let it roll I think that's a hint at a skin coming up if I'm not mistaken these are pretty cool not gonna lie I, I really love the red ones I really really do I dig I dig the double gear I think that's cool again the red and green that swamp feel I like it it looks more menacing like that and yes I know I'm not doing the pickaxe swings I just now realized that and I'm sorry I'm not going back you guys have probably seen every other video prior to now so it's kind of nice because I'm not going back because I don't care I'm sorry this wrap really cool digging the space vibes digging the teal and orange and it's like a burnt copper orange that's what I like about it and you even got a glow on the hexagon honeycomb there same thing with this glider it's the same thing I love the the burnt orange and teal look and the motif of it there's no styles to this I thought this one had styles god I'm looking back through it. this loading screen everyone loves it and I agree it's absolutely amazing it's got that Omni Demon um, the kinda I've seen the Omni Crabs before I'm not I, I'm not very familiar with the lore don't get me wrong but I've seen the art of it and I think it's a really cool callback to that kinda stuff again we'll go through umbrella later fade out it's kinda cool gives you the the half and half of the before and the after the mini moon again I'm not big on the back blings that sit way off your back like how we had for scratch and eight ball but this isn't bad this isn't too shabby in my opinion another banner nice and simple keeping it with the space vibes Siona a wanderer in a lost world I absolutely adore and love this skin a lot of people are hating on it and I I, I think why is because you know we've had space stuff a thousand times now I get it I understand I've played since season four this is my favorite color combo I don't care which style it's in whether it's the suspenders or the suit I absolutely love the suit but the whole blue and copper tone to it just it is is perfect to me I, I really don't have a problem with any of the skins this season of course there's ones I will use more often than not but I absolutely love it and I have yet to really look at this holy crap this is beautiful talking about mixing the water with the actual space which is interesting this season because it's two places that we really haven't explored as much as we think we have between space and the waters in the ocean and I, I find it interesting that instead of us venturing out and exploring those things those things are coming and exploring at us hence the marauders and everything but that's just a game theory 
Thank you, Matt Pat, for that phrase. I really love again the the honeycomb and blue, and I I really do like it in the one handed, personally. But I don't mind it in the dualies on this one. Got the night slice. Planetary vibes. This is not a bad emote at all. One of the better music emotes in my opinion. Including the one that goes with Kit that I can't show you because I'm not going to buy the full battle pass. I like to grind and earn my rewards from the battle pass. That's the fun part to me. It's a cheesy song. I don't care. It's a good song in my opinion. Hate on me if you wish. There's a comment section for that. <laughs> There's a dislike button for that. <laughs> I can see this being used in fashion shows or for the music video videos that people do because I know they exist. I know they're out there. Knight's Helm. Gee, I wonder what this stuff's all leading up to. <laughs> This is interesting that it's a contrail, not a back bling. I don't know why it's glitching out so bad, or is it just because of my brightness settings? I'm not for sure. I'm not changing my settings. I like the th way these things look. I've not really listened to this. So far, it doesn't sound too different. I like the artwork, though, that they did on the actual, like, uh, the record itself the little record sleeve that they did. Oh, okay, okay. I hear it now. They made it more echoey. More high pitch. But they added a deeper drum. That's pretty cool. Comet Crasher. I love the color. I love the fact that it's rideable. I, I, I hope that they bring rideable... Uh, I couldn't think of the name. Glider. I hope they bring more rideable gliders into the item shop. But I really do hope they at least keep one per season. Because I think it's a really cool concept. You can do so much with rideable gliders in my opinion. But the, this thing is just perfect. There's, there's not a, a thing in the world that... I mean, uh, yeah, sometimes it's easier to, like, you know, shoot people on it and stuff like that, but it, it, it looks cool. It looks cool. Getting up there, we got the Reliant Blades. I love this giant one. Tell me this doesn't remind you of Cloud from Final Fantasy. Tell me it doesn't. Tell me it doesn't. Okay. I'll look down in the comments. None of you probably actually do it. I... I feel like I do this for a small group of people, but you know what? I don't care how many followers I have or how many people I have watching this. Stormy, I dig it. Again, we'll look for the umbrella here in a little bit. Blade Raven with the Thousand Knives. We had a... We had an item shop glider that went with, like, the Samurais and stuff like that. That was kind of the same. The gold don't look bad on the glider, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of the silver. Not a big fan of the silver. And normally I love silver. Like when it comes to jewelry and stuff. I don't even wear jewelry anymore. The black, that black and red though looks a lot like the Black Widow stuff. Got a banner there. I'm digging the shield. You can't really tell it's a shield. It looks more like it came from the Arachnid stuff. And that's fine with me. Like that's kind of cool. Got them V-Bucks. And we get two skins, one complete skin, and one finishing style for the tier 100, which is interesting. I'm digging the black and red. The The gold's alright, it's a nice touch. Again, the silver is okay-ish. It's the, the OG, the original style. But that black and red, like, I know we've had it a thousand times, but... And then, of course, you can, when you get up to, like, I think it's a level 160... There are three enlightened styles that go with this as well. One for each color variant between the silver, gold, black. So look for that, peeps, folks, and dudes. And then we have the final form of Fade, which, as everyone has already said, is a far better... Well, not far better. Excuse me, that's not what they've said, but is basically like an upgraded version of Drift. I think it's a far better version of Drift. I think it is far more intimidating... 
But again, I could also see people running this and drift side by side in duos, even in like competitive. Then again, I know nothing of competitive side personally. If you play competitive, that's your own thing. I'm more with the casual players or the challenge grinders, as I call it, of Fortnite and the people that just love to see the more artful side of things. And of course, you know, we can't forget we've got Aquaman over here as well. Let's not forget him. They did an amazing job making it look just like the same actor who plays him that I know I'll butcher his name if I say it. Jason Momoa, I think it is, but I could be wrong. But I said it anyway for your benefit. Just the reflectiveness of the gold and the green. They did an awesome job, but I really do love the traditional tattooing style that they went with. That is his tattoos. I, I Again, the tattoos were done amazingly this time around in this battle pass. There's not a thing I can really complain about. Um, I really love using Ocean. I think I'll love using Kit. I'll love using Siona. I'll love using uh, Jules. Aquaman here and there. Scuba Jonesy seems to be on my servers anyway and in the games I play. Scuba Jonesy and Fade seem to be the two tryhard sweat skins. That's what I've noticed personally.